Hey to all craft beer lovers, time for another beer review. So, a little bit of uh, Omnipolo action on the channel tonight. We are taking a look at another Omnipolo offering. One of the best breweries in the world, of course, from Sweden originally. Uh, we are taking a look at their Sequin, or Sequin, I think you pronounce it. Described as a sparkling raspberry macaroon. Coming in at 6.9% in a 375ml bottle. Uh, brewed at the De Proof Brewery uh, in Belgium. Locristi Belgium by Omnipolo. There you go. Nice kind of uh, champagne-like or uh, kind of... Uh, Sparkling wine like a uh, bottle and uh, everything, nothing back there. So, uh, let's see if we can get this opened up. Then I'm going to put it down there. There we go. See if we can get it out. Yeah, there we go. Gotta get that foil off. So, there you go. All right. So, okay, so it's off as you can see there, guys. Gonna pop it. Bird cage. There we go. Let's see how this one gets off. Oh, it's a little bit stuck there. Hold on. I'm gonna try to get it off. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Finally, it's off. Well, and the bear is going out. Wasn't much of a pop on that one, actually. There we go. Yeah. So, in view then. What do we have? I'm going to pour a little bit more in. See if we can get everything out. I believe we can. There we go. So, in view. Doesn't that look pretty? Fingers worth of a kind of a uh, off-white colored head. Slight pink tinge on that off-white head. Uh, raspberry colored beverage. A little bit of a haze to it as well, but it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get the aroma then. Yes, it definitely smells like a fruited sour. Yeah, fruity, raspberry, a little bit of an acidic touch to it. Yeah, get more and more of that kind of acidic, sour vibe. Sour raspberries, jammy sour raspberries in there. A little bit of a funky note. Yeah, so definitely kind of a fruited beer, fruited sour. Okay, guys, Omnipolo action. Let's dive in, see what we get then. Cheers, everybody. Okay. Okay. So let's go. I'm going to go for a straight uh, another one straight away guys before I'm starting to dissect the beer. Okay, so this is a very very kind of different beer. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more kind of a nice a little bit more sweet, uh, fruited sour beer. For me, it's a kind of a very bitter and earthy beer. Uh, you do get a little bit of those raspberries in there, but I mean, it isn't much, to be honest. Emphasis is on that funky, bitter, earthy sourness to it. Uh, and I have to say, it, it isn't really all that pleasant, to be honest. Uh... Let's go for a final sip then. So a little bit of uh, initial jammy raspberries. Uh, 
not not sweet but kind of more so the, on the bitter sour side of things then it kind of quickly moves over into a very earthy funky uh yeah earthy funky mess basically hard to distinguish those raspberries in there uh, I'm really actually quite surprised because it's Omnipolo and they tend to do some very, very good beers. But I, hey, it, maybe it's me. I don't know. Uh, for me, guys, Omnipolo and got their Sekin uh, Sparkling Raspberry Macaroon, 6.9%, 375 uh, milliliter bottle. Uh, for me... I'm not, I'm not, it's not really up my alley to be absolutely fair. I'm not liking it. And I mean, that's a shame. Omnipolo, they're doing some great beers. But for me, this one misses the mark. Uh, too, too earthy, too funky, too sour. And uh, the kind of the raspberries aren't almost not even there. It's got just kind of a mess of earthiness, funky sourness, basically. For me, not, no, 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 no. For me, two out of five. Shame to say. Two out of five, that was everything I had for today. Thank you for watching.